Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skeleton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share two fantastic research AI tools, which is completely free in order to create graphical abstract for our Scopus Index Journal and create PowerPoint presentation without taking any help from Microsoft PowerPoint. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, you know that in Scopus Index Journals, some journals which is which are impact factor and high index journals they recommend us to give a graphical abstract this will enhance our chances to get a publication quickly because it is recommended by the journals that if you use a graphical abstract it is always useful for the readers to understand what you are communicating not only that in our teaching like university professors or teachers who would like to share their PowerPoint slides in the classroom, they need a quick PowerPoint presentation. And this AI that I am going to talk about will help to create stunning PowerPoint slides without doing much of a work. So, okay, my dear learners, so first of all, you can see the Elsevier journal, the graphical abstract, they recommend us that the journals are increasingly requesting the submission of a graphical or visual abstract alongside the body of the article. This is a single coincise pictorial and visual summary of the main findings of the article. So you understand that this is a very important part of a research publication. Now there are two tools that is going to be very useful for our, for our research purposes to create this stunning visualization. First tool that I am talking about is the bio render. This tool is useful for the life science, engineering, and all other scientific researches. So all you have to do, go to the get started for free. If you click this one, this will ask you to log in using your Gmail account. And by the way, with the Gmail account, you can use five export in a day and different uh, email address you can use at a time or different times to get more of this export. However, this is the interface and this is the Gmail address that I'm using. So here you can see the create new. If you click this one, you will see illustration, poster builder, graph. So let's say I want to make an illustration of my graphical abstract. And since I am you, I am talking about from the scientific background. So you can see that there are many options like proteins, nucleic acid, human anatomy, lab objects, spices, lot of things. So let's say I would like to see something like ambience, for example. And you can see that there are a lot of ambience pictures coming up. So one of the pictures that I'm going to use is the frog. So you can see that this is the frog picture. And now if I want to add a little bit more graphical changes, you can do that using this abstract. Now, one of the things that you can use the icon, for example, cell, cell types. Now, if I say mouse, let's say I would like to see the mouses. So let's say the mouse that I'm going to use over here, this one, this one. So there are a lot of mouses I'm using. So let me let me create a stunning uh, visualization using group. And you can see that this is a nice little visual ex explanation of the mouse and the ambience. Okay. Now you can use the text. For example, if you want to use any text, you can use your text over here. Let's say this is M O U S E mouse, so you can write down your text very easily and add it to the graphical uh, explanation or illustration very simply. You can arrange it, you can transform, you can make a shape, a lot, lot of different options that you have. Uh, you can make it nice for the text presentation. Okay, then uh, then again, you can always go for the templates, and in that particular templates, the templates are already used for. In this case, you can see that how this template we can use for our research article. So we can see that replace canvas. So in this particular case, uh, we can use this nice little template. And here you can see we can edit the template. You see, we can edit the template uh, easily. We can edit the template and make your own customized template for your research publication. Okay, so this is a fantastic idea. So now you understand that how to create bio render using different icons and at the same time you can make a different type of visualization illustration using bio render. Now talking about graphical presentation 
we need some data to use the graphical presentation, right? So we can go to the graph and you can see that create a new. So if I click the create a new, you can see that I already have used my five templates. So let's say this is the one that I have used recently. You can see that this is a nice little scatter plot diagram that I have created, created using my data set. So you can use this kind of data set PowerPoint presentation for uh, data collection, correlation, regression, plotting, various plotting you can use it by this bio render. Bio render is, bio render is especially dedicated for the life science and science background. There are different templates and you can see different type of uh, uh, nice little designs are given and lots of icons are there which you can easily edit and create your customized illustration for your graphical abstract okay so this is one of the fantastic tool that you can use it for your research article writing for a scopus publication another one that i'm going to talk about is the napkin ai the napkin ai is one of the fantastic tool that is going to be very useful for the teachers who want to teach in front of the students using PowerPoint slides. Not only that, students can also present their assignment in front of the teachers using this nice little, nice little AI. And once you open this, you create new, click new, and you can see that I already created a slide where I said that software tools for meta analysis. So I create like Revven, Zamovi, uh, WinMeta. These are my PowerPoint presentation slide uh, content. And you can see that this content created by this napkin AI very nicely. Let me use another content. Let's say I would like to see the key steps in meta analysis. So let's say I copy this one from chat GPT because the content is created by chat GPT or you can use by your own. Then you remove everything. You remove everything. Okay. Delete everything. Let's say I delete everything. And then what I have to do is just paste it over here. Okay, press it over here and then I select it and press this Thunderbolt icon. And once you press it, you can see that the AI will create a stunning visualization for you. You can see that the research process square. So you can see that different options will be given. Let's say this is one of the options that is given to you. Okay. Now as I as I, as as you can see that different types of uh, options are given over here and you can choose from those options so this is one of the option uh, let's say this another option let's say this is the one that i would like to use it so you can see that uh, formulation research question literature search data extraction statistical analysis and you can always edit it you can see that this is the edit button and you can download it export it png csv or any other format jpg you want you can easily uh, download it so it's a very interesting one because once you download it, it so it's a very interesting one because once you download it you copy it and pass it to your powerpoint slide and you just present it in front of your teachers or your colleagues or your peers so this is one of the best way to create powerpoint slides without doing anything just copy the content and the ai will create stunning visualization of your content by napkin ai so all you have to do go to the napkin ai and copy and paste your content and press that icon of thunderbolt and it will create new visualization based on your content and similarly bio bio render this will also help you to create illustration graphical presentation for your scientific research there are lots of icons and everything is there so you can use it, easily use these two platforms now my dear learners uh, as i can see that you can see the top cited papers with excellent graphical abstract in 2022 so the paper that has highly cited you can see that they use quite often the graphical abstract these are the graphical abstract this is the graphical abstract this is paper number one water in food review of current understanding and knowledge gaps and this is the abstract with the graphical abstract there are a lot of graphical abstract you can see that right then there is another one important thing five tips for creating a graphical abstract i'm going to share this link in uh, with you so that you can easily use it uh, to create your graphical abstract for your research publication so this is by spring nature research solutions it's a very interesting uh, give, given away five tips of 
creating graphical abstract not only that also there are some examples like what is graphical abstracts abstracts are given as well for example if you are from coming from economics or social science background they also uh, give an example like understanding different perspective of economic growth and cl climate policy and here you can see graphical abstract and this is the graphical abstract after writing the uh, you know written abstract then it is a graphical abstract you add these two and then you can create your whole manuscript like that as usual way so there are lots of way you can see this is the wheelie journal of internal medicine and you can if you click this one it will give you a graphical abstract and you can see this is the abstract this is the graphical abstract you see this is the graphical abstract this is the uh, abstract and then you can see that the way uh, the, the journal uses different type of illustration in your graphical abstract how you can create graphical abstract and use your powerpoint stunning powerpoint creation slides using napkin ai and bio renders without any hassle so i hope these two fantastic platform will be useful for your teaching and writing research articles especially for the graphical abstract for your next scopus publication thank you so much my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye